Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. We've once again been summoned by r slash maths help. The user who posted this problem said that even their math teacher was not able to figure it out. So let's take a look at this geometry problem and see if we can crack the case. Here's the picture, and what I really like about this problem is unlike a lot of geometry problems, which are kind of eye-catching since they have a simple beauty to them, this one kind of just looks like a big fat mess. The goal of the problem is to find the area of this quadrilateral A, B, C, D. But let's see. What details are we given in the problem? Well, this says everything is pretty much as it seems. So this is a rectangle and what look like points of intersection are points of intersection. This point A is on this side of the rectangle EF and we're provided some basic lengths and areas. It's kind of hard to see the intersection of the diagonals is labeled C. So I've printed out a brightened version. The important measurements which the problem gives to us are that the shaded area total is 120 square units. We also know that EF, the length of the rectangle, thus also HG, has a length of 18 centimeters. We also know the width of the rectangle, EH and thus FG, are 12 centimeters long. And again, with all this information, it's our objective to find the area of that quadrilateral ABCD. We know a lot of information here. We know the length and width of the rectangle, and thus the total area. We know that the heights of these two non-shaded triangles are both 12, which is the width of the rectangle. We also know the height of this shaded triangle, since its height is from the base to that point C where the diagonals intersect, and that must be halfway up the rectangle. That's where the diagonals intersect, so this height would be 6. In fact, among the triangles that lie on the rectangle, the only ones whose heights we don't know are this one, EDH, and this one, FBG, two of the shaded triangles. But let's see if we can figure out those heights since we do know the shaded area. It will of course be convenient to label the heights of these triangles. The height of this one, which drops down perpendicularly from D, we will call HD. And then this height, similarly, which drops perpendicularly from the point B, we will call HB. Please forgive me for using a lowercase d in the subscript here. Uh, let's, let's rewrite that. That's uppercase d in the subscript. Same as the point. Okay, having labeled those heights and knowing that the total shaded area is 120 square centimeters, we can set up this equation. 120, the total shaded area, is the area of these three shaded triangles added together. This shaded triangle we know. Its base is the length of the rectangle, which was given to us as 18. And its height has to be halfway up the rectangle, so half of 12, so 6. So the area of the triangle is 1 half times the base of 18 times the height of 6. Then we have to add in the area of triangle EDH. The area of that triangle is 1 half times the base, which is the width of the rectangle, which was given to us as 12, so 1 half of 12, times the height, which we've agreed to call H uppercase D. And same thing for this triangle over here, FBG, except the height is HB instead of HD. Crunching some numbers here, half of 18 is 9 times 6 is 54. Subtract that from both sides, and on the left, we're going to have 66. So 66 is equal to 1 half of 12 is 6, 1 half of 12 is 6, so 66 is equal to 6HD plus 6HB. Shit. Lowercase h, not uppercase h, I don't know what's gotten into me today. Even the strongest man at this point would not be able to resist dividing this whole equation by 6, at which point we would arrive at 11 equals HD plus lowercase h uppercase b. So at least at this point, it looks like we're not going to be able to solve for these unknown heights, but we were able to solve for their sum, and that's not so bad. If we end up needing an expression that relies on this sum, we'll be fine. Now, there are actually two clear candidates in this diagram that if we bring them together, it's going to involve both hd and hb, at which point we might be able to use this fact to solve the problem. 
I'm talking about this triangle here, which is a quarter of the rectangle, and this congruent one, which is also a quarter of the rectangle. See, this triangle on the left consists of that shaded area, which we already discussed is 6HD, plus this non-shaded area, which would have to be 54 minus 6HD. 54 because this triangle is one of the four triangles that the diagonals cut the rectangle into, and the diagonals of a rectangle are known to cut it into four equal area triangles. The total area of the rectangle is 18 times 12, and a fourth of that is 54. So this triangle has 54 square units of area, consisting of this shaded 6HD area plus this unshaded area. Similarly with this triangle over here, it has 54 square centimeters of area consisting of 6HB in the shaded region and some unknown amount in the unshaded region. Thus, these two unshaded regions, which I'm shading with my pencil, have areas that we could calculate in terms of 6HD and 6HB. If you bring those two penciled regions together with this triangle, whose area we know, and the quadrilateral area that we want to know, that outlines this big triangle, HAG, a triangle with an area that we also know. Indeed, the area of triangle HAG is one half base times height. The base of the triangle is the length of the rectangle, which was given to us as 18 centimeters, and its height is just the width of the rectangle, which was given to us as 12 centimeters. This is an area which, of course, we can break down into little pieces. This shaded triangle, HCG, which we've previously discussed, it's a quarter of the rectangle, it has an area of 54 square centimeters, and then as we said, this penciled region, HDC, that's 54, a quarter of the rectangle, minus 6HD, the shaded region that's not included. So 54 minus 6HD. Then we also have to include this unshaded sliver, CBG, which again is 54, this quarter of the rectangle, minus the shaded part, 6HB. The only part left to make up the entire area of the triangle HAG is that unknown quadrilateral ABCD. Forgive me having to go to a second line to add in that last bit of area, which we'll denote with square brackets. So the area of quadrilateral ABCD. You can see now the solution will quickly give way. Negative 6HD minus 6HB can be turned into 6HD plus 6HB by factoring out a negative. Negative. We know that is 66. That will leave ABCD as the only unknown area. All right, so one half of 18 is nine times 12 is 108. So we have 108 equals 54 plus 54 plus 54 is 162. Then minus 6HD minus 6HB is minus 6HD plus 6HB. 6HD plus 6HB is 60. Six. So that's minus 66. And of course, the last thing on the right side of the equation is plus the area of quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Then busting out our trusty calculator to crunch the numbers here, we have 108 on the left side of the equation, minus 162, and then plus 66, giving us a final answer of the area for A, B, C, D of 12. And going back to the original post, we see that was one of the possible answers that was answered choice B. So all things told, I don't really think that was a particularly difficult problem, but I definitely enjoy how sort of ugly and clunky it looks at first glance with all those crisscrossing lines. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was just getting up to my daily studying and realized I forgot the whole outro thing. Uh, so be sure to subscribe for more of the swankiest math videos on the internet. I'm unstable, I'm feeling hard to keep a cable cut and untucked the table. If Texas instruments don't reply, I think this time it might be fatal. I wish to sell my own fake, cause I'm jaded. Hate the odds that I calculated. Press and pull and pray and push it all the way through the whole blue planet. Faded. Psychosomatic habits, why you so, so.